If you haven't done so yet, pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. In part A of the question, we are asked to calculate the Compton wavelength of an electron. And the question notes that the Compton wavelength is h divided by mc. So for the electron, we can go ahead and plug in the known values. Now h is Planck's constant and has a value of approximately 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. And then we have to divide by the mass multiplied by the speed of light. The mass of an electron is approximately 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And then the speed of light is roughly 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So what we can do is pick up our calculators and type this in. And when we do that, we get roughly 2.43 times 10 to the minus 12. And the question notes that the dimensions of the Compton wavelength are the dimensions of length. And so this should come out in meters. We could actually prove that dimensionally, but for now, we'll just sort of take it for granted. So this is the correct answer for part A. For part B, we're going to do the same thing, except because it's a proton, we'll have to make sure we plug in the mass of a proton. So that we've plugged in the mass of the proton, which you could certainly look up in a reference table of your physics book. And when you compute this, you should get about 1.32 times 10 to the minus 15. And again, the dimensions are those of length. So we have meters. So this is the correct answer to part B. We can now move on to part C, which is a bit of an odd question. But basically, the question is noting something about the photon's energy. And we know that the energy of a photon which we can call E, is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency of the photon. Now, as to the frequency, we recall that the speed of light is equal to frequency multiplied by wavelength. And if we solve this equation for frequency, we could do that by dividing both sides by the wavelength. And that way it would cancel out on the right side. So frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Let's substitute the C divided by wavelength in here for the frequency. So we're going to have h multiplied by c over lambda. Now, for lambda, the question is telling us to use the Compton wavelength, which we were told at the beginning was h over mc. So we're going to replace the wavelength in the denominator here with the Compton wavelength of h divided by mc. And then we can see that the Planck's constants will cancel. And so we're left with C divided by 1 divided by MC. And in order to divide by a fraction, we can actually multiply by the reciprocal. And when we multiply the numerators right here, we're going to see we're going to have C times C, which is C squared. So we'll be left with M times C squared over 1. We don't have to write the over 1. So indeed, we are left with this expression for the energy. And that confirms that when the wavelength is equal to the Compton wavelength, the energy is equal to the rest energy. Let's not forget that mc squared is indeed equal to the rest energy. And so part C of the question is solved. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up and also subscribe so you could stay tuned for similar videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address that is shown on the screen and I'll do my best to post the answer to it on YouTube.